morning welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another new york city vlog it is a gloomy day out and i have bad news not bad news for you bad news for me i'm out of my espresso pods i have like pods for my espresso for like regular coffee but i don't want that i want espresso and it doesn't come until tomorrow but the good news for me is that in my building we have a community like co-working space and there is an espresso machine down there i'm gonna take an empty mug down there and i'm gonna make myself some espresso <laughs> We'll bring it back up here and make a morning coffee because it's Monday and a good morning starts with a cup of coffee, if you ask me. This is like one of the simple joys in life for myself. So uh, first things first, let's take the doggies down for a little walk and then we'll uh, sneak into this co-working space and make a little cup of gel. Also, hi, I'm Shayla, if you're new here. <laughs> Welcome. Subscribe if you're new. I don't know what we're gonna get into today. I did get a delivery, so maybe a little New York City apartment decor. I also wanna do some laundry. I ordered some new things for my fall wardrobe that I wanna look at and kinda go through with you. Also some current favorites from Amazon. Yeah. We'll just have like a chill day. You know, I think it's supposed to rain later on. So not sure how much exploring we're gonna do out and about in the city, but we'll have a fun day nonetheless. Okay, my brain is like really firing slowly. I need some coffee. <laughs> you guys ready to go for a walk? Let's go for a walk, come on. All right, let's go down and get some espresso. Okay, we're gonna steam a little oat milk now. I usually just do a single espresso, but since I don't wanna have to like go back down there again, I just did a double espresso, but usually my coffee that I make at home. It's a single espresso shot. Then I do a little bit of this vanilla stevia, stevia, call it what you want. I do like a couple of drops of that. And then I do cinnamon with breeze to blend oat milk from Calipia Farms. And that is my coffee. Pretty generous with the cinnamon and it's just delicious. Now the morning can begin. <laughs> A couple of vlogs back, I got a mirror for above this little entryway cabinet and it was too small. So annoying. So I returned that to Target, ordered a new one from Wayfair, and let's cross our fingers that I measured correctly. Essentially, I wanted a mirror to cover this electrical box so that we don't have to look at it because it's not cute. Yay, it looks good. Yes, perfect. That is fantastic. Love that. I know this is kind of random, but I wanted to center this little entryway cabinet on this wall, but the electrical cabinet is not centered on the wall. So I'm gonna just like hang the mirror over, you know, and center it so that it covers that. Also, I don't know if you know this, but if you have an iPhone, there should be like a measure app and you click level and you can actually use your phone as a level. And it's level, baby. Love it so much. The next thing I wanna do is I wanna spray paint these little handles and the legs on this. And I got some white spray paint. So I'm gonna take that off and then we'll figure out where we can spray paint those safely. Okay, normally I would never spray paint inside, but it is raining outside, and I actually don't have anywhere to spray paint outside. <laughs> so, we're gonna open all the windows. Come on, you guys are gonna go in here. Come here, come on, Penny. Good girl, you guys gotta stay in here. We're gonna turn on the fan, we're gonna turn on this vent. I feel like because these pieces are just so small and it'll just be such a small amount of paint to paint these that it'll be okay to do this. But I also asked and I did a little bit of research online and I feel like it'll be okay. So 
We're gonna spray paint these very quickly with this white spray paint. Very quick, very easy, not too stinky, thank goodness. We're gonna let these dry fully before we reassemble, but I think that they came out pretty good. Let's do some laundry. I have some work that I need to jump into before we open up packages and chat Amazon favorites. And before I do that, I wanna make some lunch. And I truly feel like I've come up with the perfect meal for lunch. It is a couscous bowl and it is divine. I use this couscous from Whole Foods. This one is garlic and olive oil, but I'm not actually gonna add any olive oil to it because I'm gonna keep it oil free, but you can totally add oil to it. You'll just cook the couscous however it says on at the back. But the trick is to get pearled couscous because it's a little, larger. I've just gotten my head about how many times I've just said couscous, but I'm going to say it a few more times. I also tried this 365 brand from Whole Foods. They also have a, I think it's like lemon and garlic pearled couscous. Oh, no, I can't say it without laughing, which was also really good. I got both packages to try and yeah, very into it. Anyway, cook the couscous as it states on the package. Yeah, I'm going to show you how I make it. It's so good, so fresh, so easy, and you can kind of meal prep the couscous so you can just like throw it together with your fresh veggies for a day or two you know i'm gonna split this in half essentially and have half now and then probably half for lunch tomorrow happy with how it came out. Painting the black hardware to white was definitely the move. I don't know that I'm gonna put anything on top of here, but that could change. And for right now, I'm just keeping like my little fanny pack and leashes and dog harnesses up top. And then on the bottom, I think I'll do two pairs of sneakers probably down here. Let's open up these packages from Zara. Kind of vaguely remember what I ordered, but I feel like I've been doing so much shopping and also returning because i'm like ordering things trying things on seeing what works seeing what doesn't that i just don't even know anymore <laughs> so this is a little bit of a surprise for me i'm not gonna lie ignore my sports bra because obviously i would not wear these leather pants with a sports bra but uh we're just trying we're just trying it all on real quick i am obsessed with these pants i actually got them in the size down and they were too too small so i just ordered them in the next size up and these fit pretty well although there is like a slight gap but that's okay they're wide leg faux leather pants they're high-waisted i love a faux leather pant when it's raining out because then your pants don't get wet if water gets on you you know also got a black coat because i did not have one and a little scarf which we love she's ready for fall still trying to decide if i like this coat or not I also got a couple of beanies, just like basic beanies from Zara. Got like a taupey neutral color and black. I love that all this is happening in a sports bra. I also got this really bright scarf, which I think is really pretty. You know, I love pink and apparently bold colors are in and we're all about that. So this is very cute too for a little pop of color. I don't know if I love this coat though. What do you guys think? Do you like this coat? Comment below, I need to know what you think. 
I also got this short little cropped Sherpa. Very cute, it's actually pretty warm too, I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty thick. Got this flannel, which I don't know that I love the colors of this, but let's see. Yeah, that's actually pretty cute. Okay. Oh, you know what else too I got? I got some Levi's that are very similar to the light wash Levi's that I have that I love. And I got them in like this dark blackish gray color, which let me try these on. Okay. They just fit so well. I love them. I will link them below. They're so, so, so cute and comfy. Also got a couple of boots. I know you guys are probably like, um, this is a lot. Again, I'm like literally starting from nothing. So I got these boots, which I think are really cute. We'll try these with this outfit. And then I also got these brown suede knee-high boots that I think could be pretty cute too. This is very like grungy girl. Again, I don't think I'd be wearing it with my sports bra. When it comes to clothing and like style, I really just like to have fun with my style and I don't really stick to one vibe. I don't think that you need to stick to one style and I think you should just wear whatever makes you feel good and like express yourself through your fashion. The other thing I did get at Zara is this puffer coat and I've been trying to kind of get things that are a similar color so that everything kind of goes together. I do really like this. It has like a hood, although it's not going to protect me from like snow or rain getting in my face, but it is pretty cute. And it kind of goes along with the few other things that I got, you know, if I want to layer up. And I wore it this morning on my walk and it was really actually a pretty nice coat. And for being honest, Amazon. Let's talk Amazon. I got a plain little baseball cap that is a similar color to this beanie and all the things, you know, see, we're trying to like keep it in a similar color family. Sometimes you just want to like throw on a baseball cap, you know? So this also matches the jacket pretty well. I did also order this other flannel from Amazon, but I'm not sure if I like it just yet. I need to see if I can make it into an outfit first. Since I got so many solid like turtlenecks and stuff like that, I was looking for some prints and things to kind of jazz those basic pieces up. So flannels and stuff like that feel very fall. Let me actually see if I can turn this into an outfit and then we'll decide if we're gonna keep it or not. And then I'll show you the other stuff that I got from Amazon. Okay, I do think I'll keep it. I think this is actually pretty cute. It's pretty inexpensive, cute little layering piece. Could also wear it with like active wear. Paired it with the brown boots, which by the way, these are waterproof as well. I'll probably wear them with different jeans that aren't like bunching up out of the bottom. I <laughs> like cowboy boots, but I think this is a pretty cute look. Look, I'm into it. First Amazon find is this flannel. Again, everything is linked down below. I know it came in a few different color combos. Also got a combo pack of claw clips in neutrals and black, and I'm so happy that I did. I am obsessed with them. I was wearing the black one earlier. Now I'm wearing the brown one. It's kind of just like goes with my fall wardrobe color scheme and I just think it's like such an easy hairstyle. I'm so glad it's in style right now because it's just great when you're on like day three hair or you just don't want to do your hair and you want to like throw it up. Putting it in a little claw clip is just so easy and so cute. The combo pack comes with two different styles and then in these four different colors, which I love. I already showed you this, but the hat is the other Amazon find, which we really love. The last Amazon find is this sweater dress. It is so good, you guys. It comes in at least a few different colors. I'm gonna have to go back on and look. I think I honestly might order it in another color as well because it's just amazing. I got a size medium, so it's like slightly oversized because I think I'm gonna belt it. I mean, imagine this belted, okay? Maybe even with black tights or with like over the knee boots even or with these little ankle boots. I actually do like this coat, I changed my mind. Also kind of wanna see what I would style this little Sherpa jacket with. We like it, it's cute. Okay, I need to put this stuff away and clean up a little bit. And then I think I'm just gonna have like leftover Thai food for dinner that I got yesterday. Is there something else from Amazon that I wanted to show you? There is one more thing from Amazon that I wanted to show you that I got. And that is this necklace. I think it just like adds a little pizzazz to my two other necklaces. So yeah, that is the last Amazon find that I wanted to tell you about. <laughs> Thank you.
go get some coffee because my coffee still didn't arrive yet and we have a workout that we gotta go to in like an hour and I need coffee. Look who came to Rise Nation with me. <laughs> First actual workout in like a week and a half, possibly two weeks, and I'm exhausted. <laughs> but oh my gosh, it felt so good to be back in a workout class, to be well enough to be working out. I'm very grateful for that. I need to check on my laundry because I threw in a little load of laundry when I got back. And I need to do an Instagram story Q&A, which I do every week on my Instagram and need to record a podcast episode for my podcast, the Yoga Inspired Life podcast. So just work things, nothing too exciting. Although I do have a book update for you. Finally finished Maybe Now by Colleen Hoover, which is my 16th book of 2022. I have a goal to read 20 books in 2022. So we have a few more we gotta get to. I am giving it a six out of 10. It was a good book. It is the second book in a series of two. The first one was Maybe Someday, which I didn't love either. So I don't know why I read this one but I'm a big Colleen Hoover stan, so I just picked it up and read it anyway. It's not that it's a bad book, it's just not my favorite book. I still enjoyed reading it. The ending of this one was great. And yeah, we're giving it a six out of 10. I am waiting for the new Colleen Hoover book that should come at some point this week, which I'm very excited about. It starts with us. I already read It Ends With Us, so I'm very eager to read It Starts With Us because I loved It Ends With Us. In the meantime, I'm going to reread Inner Engineering, which I read a few years ago. It's a great book, so we're rereading it. And this one is more of a spiritual self-development book, which I've not picked up a book in this genre for quite some time because I feel like my brain is always on and absorbing information and working and producing and reading is my time to unplug and relax and unwind. So I've been going for novels, but while I wait for my next novel to come, Inner Engineering is where we're headed. Okay, I'm gonna do this Instagram Q&A, which by the way, if you're not following me on Instagram, what are you doing? <laughs> Follow me, it's at Shayla Quinn. I am on there almost every day. So if two times a week on YouTube is not enough for you, we can hang out on IG all week long. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna do that Q&A and then podcast. But I think I might take a little walk break in between because I wanna get outside. It's actually a really beautiful day outside. Anyway, I need to get to work, I'm procrastinating. This book gave me so many helpful tips and actionable steps to change my money mindset. To understand that money is energy and energy is meant to flow, right? Money, currency, current, movement, you gotta keep the flow moving. I actually have a podcast episode where I share how you can live a yoga inspired life while working a nine to five. So I will link that here for you. Should I do Vlogmas? almost six o'clock and I want to kind of prep dinner now so that I'm not eating too late. And I think I'm going to do some cauliflower gnocchi with vegan kale pesto. I actually like to bake the gnocchi so I'm just gonna put it on a baking sheet with some parchment paper and bake it at 400 degrees until they are crispy. I would just love to eat dinner at a decent hour and get in bed at a decent hour and feel well rested tomorrow if possible but I still have Quite a bit more work to do for the podcast. I'm honestly still getting well again after not being well. <laughs> so I don't know if I'm gonna get this podcast episode done tonight. My energy is just like not quite 100% yet, but I'm gonna do my best. That's all we can do. this later, but I'm gonna just go ahead and put all this clean laundry on my bed 
so that I have to fold it before I go to bed. <laughs> oh, I actually always regret doing this. Like my future self always despises this version of me that decides to do this. Okay, I'm so tired. I don't think I can do any more today. Perfect. Literally just gonna heat this up, take my makeup off, park it over there on the couch. I am like so tired today. I don't know what my problem is. Ugh.